Hi guys, Jason here, and today I'm going to be reviewing these hot metal and slag cars made by Lionel. I really enjoy collecting steel related cars, specifically Republic Steel cars, and these are Republic Steel, and the reason why I collect items with the Republic Steel logo on it is simply because that is the company that my mother has worked for her entire life. These cars are very detailed and are either die cast or made of ABS plastic. So they're very heavy cars and you definitely want to have sufficient pulling power to pull a long set of cars like I have right here. Right here I have six of the hot metal cars and three slag cars. I'm going to start with the hot metal car. We have a lot of detail up in this area. Detailed trucks which are all die cast. We have the Republic Steel logo right here. Now a cool thing about these cars is that they do rotate and expose the hot metal inside and there is a light in there that flickers and it's very realistic and looks very cool especially when the lights are turned off. But This car rotates a full 90 degrees to both sides and all the cars do that. Next we'll take a look at this slag car. This car is also highly detailed. The, the slag bucket is very heavy and is die cast. It also tips 90 degrees to both sides and lights up. Again looks very cool with all the lights turned off. Republic Steel logo. Lots of detail on both sides especially on this side. These cars are much smaller than the hot metal cars, but are full of detail, very heavy, and they're a lot of fun to operate. Again, this line of cars are very heavy. Um, these nine cars weigh as much, if not more, than a 20 or 30 car train of regular premier rolling stock. A cool thing about Lionel is that they don't always load their catalogs up with modern detailed equipment like this but when they do I think it's some of the best stuff that any train company makes and this is no different these are some of the nicest detailed cars that I have on my layout and from a guy who buys mostly MTH I can say that Lionel did an awesome job of making these cars and they're a lot of fun to run they look great and now I'm going to leave you with a video of the Chesapeake and Ohio GP9 pulling all of my Republic Steel related equipment. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.